Group one is hitting first. Group two, base pass, running at second. Uh, work on no outs, running at second. Any other questions, concerns, comments? Very good, let's go. Last year, I believe we went uh, 20 and 7, 20 and 8, somewhere around there. Um, we won our league to be back to back league champions. Um, and, uh, we were in Division II in CIF. We ended up losing in the second round to a really good guard team. Our school and the admin uh, hooked us up with new uh, windscreen this year. You can see it's all red, kind of the red kingdom going on around here. And then part of it is uh, has the MLB no hitters, so we're the only high school in, in the nation that has four no hit pitchers. It's cool just walking out and my freshman year, we didn't have any of this. Just coming now here, I've been here all three years, and just going out and being able to see people that have been so successful here, it's just a big thing to look up, look up to and just be a great thing a part of being here at Fullerton. This is something we've, we wanted to, to get to, is to be one of the better programs in Orange County. We've been ranked in Orange County for the last three years in a row. Um, so it's something special that we take really pride in, that being in Division One now. DJ Garcia, uh, he's a four-year Varsity starter, so he's a senior. Um, he plays out center field for us. It's kind of special for him. He's kind of been hurt the last couple years, and he's been down now. He's been healthy for us after shoulder surgery last year, and he's making a big impact in center field, being a leader and a captain for everyone in the, in the outfield. DJ, did you? Yeah. Come on, DJ. You might want in on that one. Yeah, you might. You might want in on that one. Bad move, DJ. Oh. Don't do it. <laughs> you one off the top of the net. What? Like, what else do you want? Cause you know you're gonna mess up right now. The home run derby? Pop up in the infield. Oh, did you? Timmy, if I ever make it to the home run derby, I want you to throw a beat. Got it, baby, waiting to prove me wrong. And he helps us out in the middle of the order. He's a great leader, he's been through this. He's seen us lose, he's seen us win he's at the highs and lows. So he's the perfect leader in the dugout for our program. You know, it feels great. You know, obviously this season, I'm playing with a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, coming off an injury. You know, I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna say anything for getting this year. Carlos Barrios. Plays third base for us, senior. Um, he also comes and pitches in relief for us. Uh, again, another four-year varsity guy that's been through a program um, with our CIF run and everything else. Uh, just a good character guy, good energy. Makes everyone laugh. Probably one of the funnier guys in the program. Try to do what's best for me and for the team and play the position with 110%. Zach Fanny, junior middle infielder. Um, he's been a varsity guy since his freshman year. He started at second base when we made our CIF run. Um, he's a leadoff guy for us. Uh, baseball IQ is through the roof. He's coming back from an arm injury, so we moved him to second. Uh, and he's really helping out with a young freshman shortstop, kind of teaching the ropes and, and just being a really good extra middle infield coach for us and does a great job in the leadoff spot. Just my job is obviously hitting a high, a high clip and also just getting on base, stealing bags, just being the scrappy guy on the field that produces a lot of runs. Miguel Velasquez, he's a junior catcher, committed to Cal State Fullerton. Uh, the last two years, he's been playing third base for us. Hits in the two or three hole for us. I think he's batting over 500 so far in the year. Just a really good guy on the base pass. He's probably one of the better catchers in Orange County. He was accepted uh, to play for trials for Team USA over the summer. Um, he was out in North Carolina for a couple weeks trying out for the team. Well, I had a really big summer. Trained almost every day. You know, it was my pops here or any other cage around. I worked out a bunch. A lot of hitting every day. Malachi Menny is a first baseman junior. He hits in the middle of our order. Uh, it's amazing glove at first base. You see his size, he's always in the weight room. Uh, just working, grinding, he's always hitting after practice. Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. Malachi Menny with a ball over the chicken coop. Defensively, his baseball IQ for first base, um, his range, he'll lay out. He kind of knows what to do with the glove, picking at first base. Um, he does a good job controlling the running game by helping out with the pitcher. He'll go talk to him. Just everything you're looking for, older guy in the lineup, he does everything for us. Definitely making the routine plays, making the other infielders look good, and just communicating at all times. Eddie Avita, he's a senior pitcher, uh, also infielder. He actually came out of nowhere this year. I think his ERA is probably .5 right now, but he's a bulldog. He's a grinder. When everyone knows he's pitching, everyone's got all the confidence in the world to him. He's going to pound the strike zone. Um, and he's going to compete, and he's going to outcompete everyone on the field. And he's just a great guy having the mound, and everyone believes in him. Yeah, as a pitcher, I just I throw a lot of strikes. I don't throw the hardest, but I'm really accurate, and I can hit my spot. Wherever the catcher puts his glove, I hit it. Senior Nico Mendez. Unfortunately, he's not playing for us this year. 
Uh, he tore his ACL playing football, but this kid's gonna play college baseball. He's a stud. He's trying to come back to play this year and he got surgery two months ago. It's not gonna happen. We're not gonna let him do that to ruin his future, but he's an amazing kid and he's gonna do amazing things playing college baseball. The mentality is just keep going hard. I mean, you know, a lot of, a lot of schools don't think we should be there, but I feel like we could keep up with them, you know? They'll talk whatever and I feel like we could just keep up. Well, our game does the talking. All right, can you record? Yeah. Yeah. Tyler. Tyler. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh! Peter Vasquez, you're being charged of not following team directions and not wearing jorts on jorts day on Eddie Shove day. Oh. How do you plead? Not guilty. Whoa! Not guilty. Not guilty. Do you consider these jorts on yes? Whoa! Whoa! Jury, do we have a verdict? Yes. Jury number one, can you come up, please? <laughs> You're guilty. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the punishment for the judge to approve for the punishment? Uh, you, my friend, are going to comedy sports with no phone. Punishment accepted. <laughs> you also have to go comedy sports in jorts. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, try on me, try on three, one, two, three, try!